So I picked up a new attachment for the expanded tool from Ryobi. This, as you can see, is a sweeper brush. This is the model RYSWP25, and it's considered a sweeper attachment. It's got the nylon bristles on it, which are pretty stiff, but they're not, uh, they're not certainly not as stiff as a chimney sweep brush. Very easy to attach. All of these expanded systems, basically, you have a, um, you loosen here, and there's a little button that pops into place. So I did give this a quick use just to kind of get a little bit of the hang of it. The uh, reason why I bought this is for this area at the end of my driveway. So obviously over the winter plowing you get gravel that kind of gets pushed into the grass, picked up with the snow as you're plowing. And I used a little bit. So here's a good example of the stuff that it pulls out here. Um, leaves as well as the gravel. The gravel is the big thing. And here's what the grass kind of looks like. You see the little sweet pattern there? One of the drawbacks of trying to use this in an area like this is you really have to get behind so you get some leverage. So I, I'm not walking in the flower bed, so I'm not going to get right up close. I'll use a, a small rake and pull it out from there. But for this whole three foot area or whatever, wherever I can get is pretty good. So. I'm going to finish up down here just so you can get an initial idea how that works and then I'm going to go up where I have a much bigger problem area up there so let me get this set up so you can see what's going on I'm using a 6 amp hour battery uh, just because my 4 amp hour is charging it doesn't seem to make a difference in power So it's pretty powerful. Um, I mean, you can see even going into the driveway there a little bit, just how much it does. And it didn't really tear up green grass. <clears throat> so there's maybe a couple of bits of green grass in there, but all the rest of it, it pulled a lot more thatch out than I expected as well. So um, the biggest uh, thing getting used to with it is trying to keep that balance. It, it wants to push you back because the, the wheels spin and blow everything forward out ahead of you. So it's just trying to, and when you're on a lawn that's certainly not that even, um, you're, you're gonna feel the kickback. So it's just a matter of feeling the balance. You don't wanna push down too hard. Um, Cause a couple of times when I first used it, I didn't have my motion right and I pushed down a little too hard and it actually just stopped the tool. So I just took the battery out and put it back in. All right, so let's move up to the other area and take a look at that. All right, so here we up my driveway a little bit more. A little bit different problem here. So first of all, I'm gonna be going uphill and there's some marks in the softer soil from when I was plowing and the ground was still soft. And as you can see, I have a lot of stuff. It's a lot farther back. And up here, I actually have quite a bit. So this is, yeah, good six inches high and this stuff is like a blue stone, so it's got, you know, some really dense uh, stone dust in there as well. 
Uh, long story short, I was using the Dodge plow. I didn't realize one of the feet had broken off, so I wound up digging up a lot of this. And the best I could do, because it was the middle of winter, is just push it off the edge. But I either have to shovel this, or I can see if one of my power tools here is gonna help. Now, I brought this still out, not because I'm interested in the power, but because this has the paddles on it. And you may have seen one of my prior videos, I specifically got these soft paddles for use in my um, donkey paddock for all the year uh, as their manure dries. I could just use that and blow it into piles, keep the area neater. I suspect that's not going to do as well where there's a lot of grass. Um, just because I think as the grass lays flat, the flat even paddles may just kind of sail over this where these bristles really literally comb through the grass and blow it forward. So I'm also interested to see if I start this as far back as I can, how much I can walk the stuff forward before if it starts getting too heavy. And then of course, I really wanna see how it works when there's a big heavy pile to start with. I'm obviously gonna to try to start at the top and blow and work my way down. Um, so let me, I think I'm gonna start over here with the Ryobi and see how that does um, at least getting up and maybe I'll split this pile in two and give this still a chance as well Not that bad. So this area here was with the Ryobi and the brush. Well, the still did a lot better than I thought. <clears throat> so standing back here, this was the Ryobi side and I had some blow over here from using the still. Um, I do think the bristles did pull a little bit more of the heavier stuff out. And the still did a very good job of taking everything out regardless. But as you can see, there is, on top of the leaves, more of the uh, bluestone dust there. So, and this is kind of like a depressed area. And this was wider. You could tell I was struggling because it does have a lot of power. So it kept wanting to push me back. But in terms of the amount of stuff it took off, I'd say it's, it's even. And starting back here, 
probably about you know just over four feet almost five feet it carried it all the way up to the driveway without any problems you know yeah i missed a couple of spots so that's just me that should back up and go again all right well i'm gonna set over here and work on these heavy piles and i'm probably gonna switch off i just want to see how we do um not sure what a good camera angle is though That's really not bad. So I start, started back even farther. And again, there's a rut here. So I was kind of getting bound up with the little wheels in that. But it's really, it's like a, almost like a seesaw thing you gotta master. But look how far it threw some of the debris as well. And some good sized stones too that were in the soil and the grass there. So, all right, let me finish up here. I may move the camera around a little bit. Um, I'm not trying to do the neatest job. I'm just trying to get most of that material in there. And I'm hoping the wind will blow a lot of the leaves out and leave me with mostly the gravel there.
All right, so the still with the flaps did eventually dig through it. You could tell I really had to put my knee into that uh, bracing bar, um, which I expect. This is heavy stuff. This is not the ideal use for it. It's just a situation I found myself in, and I'm using some tools to get me out of it. Because I hate raking. My back hates raking. All right, well, I think I've done enough to get an impression, and I recommend it. Um, bristles are all in good shape. I think its benefit is that it's smaller and maybe has a little bit less power. You know, the, the Ryobi tools, they have good torque for what you get. Um, and the trigger is just as responsive as the delay of taking your finger off the throttle with this. Um, I think because that has so much more power, it's pushing back at you more. Um, it makes it especially hard getting uphill and stuff. I also noticed that once you get the rhythm with this and you kind of let back so you can roll and you, you find where you can glide over the tops of piles, like from here to here, um, 
it's easier to see it and find that place and you can keep walking the stuff out and almost spread it evenly you know i mean look where i left it here with the pile and where i got toward the end where i basically just kind of walking it um one thing i'll say is that it does wind stuff around and kick it in right back at you absolutely like any power tool wear your safety goggles um and probably keep your mouth closed if possible um black flies are out now so that's where we are in may up here but it was kind of hard because again I'm, I'm standing down a slope this was a burn pile so i don't want to put my foot too deep in nails or whatever may be in there um and i barely mow over here i didn't need that that clear i just wanted the, the bulk of the material out but i still do like and you can go back and like i said you get used to that up and down a little bit you can come back and just kind of dip it it's just when you're down a little too aggressively and your first instinct is to push back harder but it's that digs the tool in um so you, you just have to learn that um grace of just kind of back and you know put your your uh, right hand down with the battery let it go up a little bit in the front and it works great so uh that cost jeez um i think it was 169 for just the attachment it comes with the wheels it's all set up you just have to plug it into your expanding um or your existing ryobi expanded system this was a 40 volt 6 amp hour battery that was fully charged when i started with the video and i'm just down one uh block on that so and again this was heavy stuff so this was a good test of how far you can go using you know this tool and that attachment on a charge um and it makes the job a lot easier especially for heavy stuff you know there, there's really nothing to get around raking leaves with this much area um but when you have heavy gravel mixed in you need some help and i, I think this tool is is absolutely worth it especially if you own the system already um you know you add this to your bag of tricks and like i said i have this it's a specialized function of why i bought it um, and i am happy with it for what it does um, i need that power i need the the throwing capability um, and I did get a string trimmer for it too, which does help out quite a bit because I use a string trimmer with this. I love it, but even with the um, the strap over my shoulder after a while, it's still kind of hard swinging it. It's it's a very long tool, so for that type of thing, something a little more that you can rest on the ground and just kind of go and sweep. But oh, and I have a tiller for the still as well, which works fantastic. So there you go. There's a good example. Real heavy gravel with uh, rock dust in it. We had about two weeks of rain, so there's a lot of moisture in there as well. And pushing it uphill, and this tool went down one battery indicator, moving all this, most of it. So I recommend.